there's all sorts of shit down there. I don't know. I don't really know how to get to it. Hello? Are you still alive in there? You give it a nice feminine push back into its spot and then you hit the road. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and in today's episode of Girl Vs. Van, I show you my boho chic seven day van build, including a full music studio. Subscribe for daily videos. Hello friends, today we're doing a van tour and we are starting off in the bedroom where the magic has yet to happen. I need a moment. Hey girl. Oh, I'm sorry, are you, are you in a session right now? Are they laying on the couch? Oh, we're good, okay. Um, I was just saying, I, just, I think I'm a really good person. I'm like, I'm pretty attractive. I have a pretty good personality. I just don't know why the magic hasn't happened in my van yet. Okay, 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 got it. I got this, I got this. This is my bedroom where the magic will someday happen. I'm optimistic. Okay. It's very fluffy. It's Chip and Joanna AF. Target, 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 Target. Target. She fancy. So this is my bed. This is where I sleep. Check it out. Really comfy mattress. I actually prefer to sleep in here. Even when I'm staying at family's places, I still sleep in my bed. It's that comfy. Right next to where the magic may someday happen is my piano. I wanted a full music themed van. I wanted it to be cozy and fluffy and comfortable and just a place that will inspire me creatively. That was very important to me. So I have a microphone. I have a piano. If you want to see me take this apart, you have to watch my seven day van. It is a trip. I actually hollowed this guy out to use as storage and then put in my keyboard so it looks and functions as a piano, but it doesn't go out of tune and it doesn't weigh 4,000 pounds. Here we have a gigantic mirror because nothing inspires me more than my own reflection while I'm writing music. Just kidding, I think it's beautiful. It opens up this space, light reflects off of it. You can not only see the beautiful view out the back, but in the mirror as well. And there's one on this side too. It also helps if there's like a creeper right behind that trailer. I can see you, I can see you creeper. Don't think I can't. This is just here for extra protection, but I've gotten some really pretty shots with that macrame hanging. Yes, I did get this at Target. And then I have my stone and rock collection on the piano. I'm getting local honey and stones in each state that I pass through. And I've only gone through four states so i have kind of an obsession we're chilling on the stones and gems for a while but let's take a look at the storage in the piano it's really easy to just open this up watch out for the lamp and i've got things such as my guitars ukuleles some winter clothing there's all sorts of shit down there i don't know i don't really know how to get to it hello are you still alive in there? There's lots of stuff in there that I haven't seen or thought about for three months. Are you guys okay in there? Okay, good talk. Ooh, there's a bug. There's probably mice living in there. We don't wanna know. We just, we just keep this closed. <coughs> Actually, all my recording equipment is in there. I haven't been able to use it yet because it's been so dang hot. I can't sit in this van during the day and write or record music, but I'm so excited because lately I traveled north and it's nice and cool, so I'll be writing some more music. I also teach private music lessons, so needed a little studio in my van. I have two turntables and a microphone. I've got my microphone here. I'm a little afraid to turn it on. We've been over some bumpy roads. We're not sure if little blue mic's hanging on here. Are you alive? Are you okay? Do we need to take you to urgent care? She's fine. She's fine. And it's comfortable as this is to sit and sing and play we're gonna put this bed in couch position so we can access our piano and apparently it's like super trendy to do stop motion of your bed becoming a couch in a van so that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> ready to play the piano. So unlike most fan builds, I do not have solar on my roof. So then how do I power my keyboard, my refrigerator, and most importantly, my curling iron? I'll show you. Since we're going with a music theme in the van, instead of putting my amp in storage, I decided to get a little bit creative with it. <laughs> so beauty, this one. Yes, I can put this back together. Thank you, lovely speaker. 
extra storage space. All right, so I'm getting a Jackery power station. I'm hoping it fits in here. And then I'll just put this back on. Oh, I wonder if it fits upside down. Oh, shit. So my Jackery power station will be right down here. I'll be able to plug stuff in, or maybe I'll just use this for extra storage for something else, but it matches my aesthetic. We're going with gold and grayish tones in the van, so very, very excited about it. All right, so here's my big power supply. It's the Jackery Explorer 1000, but I also got a little backup because this one's gonna be running my fridge, lights, all that stuff. Check it out. It actually fits in the back of my amp. Got all the charging cables. I got solar charging cables. Hell yeah. So excited. It all fits in this little amp. Oh, and just like I planned, when you flip this around, it's open in the back so I can just have stuff plugged in and ready to rock. We're just using this as a box to house the Jackery. Oh crap. I unplugged my refrigerator. I forgot to plug it back in. Hashtag fun life. This is pretty sweet. Love it. It charges off of a wall outlet, charges off of my van while it's driving, and it's got a solar panel with it. So if I want to play my keyboard, super easy to just pick this up, take it over here. Usually I'll plug the fridge into the other Jackery, but right now it's charging inside. Mm -hmm. Gotta get a little aggressive with the couch sometimes. It likes to slide forward. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes, it's this super easy process of plugging in my keyboard. Find the cable and the mess of cables. Plug it in, turn on the power, put on your hipster hat. Don't forget the hipster hat. It's a very important part of playing keyboard. And then obviously you bust out some Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> how it goes. So that's how I play my piano in the van. I have an audio interface in here so I can also record vocals. I can record my keyboard and make all sorts of crazy sounds with it. So if you want to check out my music, it's on my other channel, Dana Ventura. It's the stage name. I tell people it's because I like the Cali girl style and Ventura's in California, but secretly I just love Jim Carrey that much. This is a platform bed, so I have a bunch of stuff stored underneath. So let's go take a look at that now. Please stop. Please stop. Stop recording, stop. <sighs> you, <laughs> iPhone 11 with a broken screen, you're so cute. Stop it. All right, I have a bunch of storage under the bed. This is something that I was gonna add Velcro to at one point, but that got thrown in the it pile real fast. So basically the rest of my van is just my wardrobe and then a little spot for food. The whole point of van life for me is to one, figure out where I wanna move next, two, film free music videos, and three, do seasonal workout programs. So I brought a lot of clothes. Got to look cute. And then you just give it a nice little, like a gentle tug. Okay, this is where I keep my shorts and short skirts. There's about 20 pairs in there. You never know when you're gonna need mint green shorts that are three sizes too small. You just never know when those are gonna come in handy. Maybe if you see a 14 year old child in the playground who shit her pants, give her your shorts that are way too small for you and will never fit. Perfect. And then here, these are all of my dresses. Well, these are all of my like white and creams. The colors are on the other side. And then we have a few winter items in here as well. Um, surprisingly, I do have a lot of clothes, but I know where everything is. So that makes it easy. And then the most important thing that I brought with me, my nerd bits. I like to rollerblade, what can I say? Is rollerblading in the Olympics, but for real though. I will sign up. Right here we have fitness stuff, kettlebells, dumbbells, booty bands. Shit, that's way too heavy. We have an outdoor rug and I don't dare take that out because I'll never get it back in. And for the Grand Mac Daddy, my favorite box in the van. My workout outfits. We've got every color of the rainbow. We even doubled up on some colors just for fun. You never know when you're gonna need the same outfit twice. But literally though, you guys know I ruined my pink leggings. That was not fun. It was not a good time. And then right here, just trust me on this one, it's my winter clothes. Lots of cable knit sweaters and such. Give it a gentle, you give it a nice seven and push back into its spot and then you hit the rope. Oh, good. How'd this get so crooked? Sorry about that. I'm a professional blogger. Just a delicate little nudge. Oh, there's a dumbbell in the way. I'll be quick. And this one just, why is this one so easy? Put the last roller blade in, tuck this into the corner and then take a water break. I lost a nail. I don't know where it is. I'm sure I'll find it the first time the magic happens in here and be very embarrassed. He'll probably find my fingernail in the crack of his ass. That's been my luck lately. Now we're gonna move on to my kitchen. 
Now to get into my kitchen, you simply step up, remove your shoes. We have carpet in here. We are not monsters. No shoes in the back. Thanks. And then you just suck it in with all your might. Do a little sideways scooch. Tuck up the tooch. You get a few splinters, but it's okay. And then you're in the kitchen. But before I show you my kitchen, I would like to take advantage of this perfect lighting and show you what's under curtain number one. Are we crooked? That's nice. That is OCD goodness right there. This is where I keep my boots. I have a black pair and I have a brown pair. I have like an orangish brown pair. Those are my day-to-day -day boots. These are strictly for photos. We have a couple baskets here in the back. I fit six baskets in here. We have a few in the back. In this one, we have a propane burner that I never use. We don't really cook in this van. Ooh, we have our diary note. Throw those away. Have a camera in the middle basket in case you ever want to steal something from me. My camera's right there. A little tripod as well. And then in here, if you want to steal any of my GoPros or mics, they're in the basket to the left. Right here, and then just you just pull it out, take it home, sell it on eBay. I don't know what you want to do, but what you do with my shit is your business, so. That goes there. I'll show you these baskets when we get inside. I have my fitness shoes here. And everyone's got to have a white pair of vans. Those are under there. If you if you steal my journal notes though, I swear I will hang you. I will hang you. Um, this is just a shower curtain or some kind of roll-up curtain. I don't think it's a shower curtain actually. It's like a window curtain from Target. I just pinned it on there just so it doesn't look like this all the time. It just makes it a little harder to steal things too, quite honestly. So we keep that there. It matches the ambiance. So we like it. We are removing our shoes. We are gracefully stepping inside of our van. We'll get there. I believe in us. This goes through. So like I said, under here we have, oh, this is a Christmas tree skirt, by the way. I just put that on the other side, just because it matches the ambiance. Oh, this is my spit bottle when I brush my teeth. We'll just put that over there for now. All right, these pull out like so. I usually have my clothes Marie kondo pretty hardcore, but I also threw these in the fuck it pile, so those go up there. These are my apocalypse undies. In case the world's about to end and I shit my pants, I have extra undies. And then these are my apocalypse socks. If you've seen my videos, you know about apocalypse socks. Your feet can get really bloody and blistered running from zombies, so you need to have your apocalypse socks. And of course, these are just baskets from Target. I had my fiddly figs in them before, but now it's just for my apocalypse gear. I just used these shoe boxes, filled them full of my shirts, and they're a perfect fit. So everything in this van is pretty makeshift. We'll just give that a tender thrust. I just took stuff from my apartment and shoved it in here. Nothing is really custom built, except for the little thing I'll show you in a minute. Same thing here. We had a little shoe box explosion the other day. These are just shirts, but in here I have all my bralettes and bandanas and then body suits down at the bottom. More clothes that I don't really wear. Actually, I've been pretty good about wearing my cute stuff. Like usually I'll wear the same ratty shirt and pair of jeans every day. So I put those in storage and only brought cute clothes to force me out of my comfort zone, literally. Okay, and then we ever so elegantly slide that back in. And this is also where I go to the bathroom. More on that later. Now I'm gonna show you what's inside of my dresser, but first, up here I have a basket from Target. This one I think is from World Market. Kind of baby him, because he's the outcast in the van. Everything else is Target. It's a little bit of the black sheet. But I keep all my blankets in here, so when I go to bed at night, I just toss these on. I have a pretty blanket on my bed all the time, and they, these are just my Uggs blankets that I use for comfort and warmth at night. So just store them in there. In a pretty basket. I almost forgot to show you my desk. So this is a multifunctional space. This is where I write in my journal in the morning. This is where I cook. This is where I edit. This is where I watch my anime porn. I do all sorts of stuff right here. So um, in my drawer, I have a couple books that I'll never read, a couple games that I'll never play. I actually brought a ring light. I might put this on the outside of my van. We'll see. Just has scissors and pens and staplers and my lip butter, orange blossom pistachio. It's so good. And I also have a knife. Because if you enter my van, I will cut you. I have a cribbage board my brother made for me. It's a great game on the road. I have my passport in case I go to Canada, y'all. Or Mexico next year. It might happen. So if you want to steal anything in that drawer, that's what's in there. So this thing likes to slide open when I turn right. So have a little latch on there. And this is my main storage right here. We've got food in here. Got all my toiletries and stuff like that. I put every... Holy side boob, Batman. I put all my things... Scoot you back a little. Jeez, 
a lot of other stuff. Put everything in boxes so it's really easy to find. Got my cleaning supplies. Got my cooking oil slash lubricant. I mean antifungal lotion. That's what I meant. But I have everything in boxes. This is my pour over coffee box. This is my snack box. This is my granola box. You get the idea. There's lots of boxes to choose from. We've got more granola in this box. We're not gonna use that finger because we're missing a nail. We've got nuts and seeds in this box. And we've got steel cutouts in this box. We got walnuts in this box. I know you're asking yourself, what's in that box back there? Well, let me just show you. This is my tea box. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Just gotta have that handy, you know? And then back here is my other coffee box. I have eight different ways to make coffee. It's very important to me. It's very important to the people around me too because if you see me without my coffee in the morning, watch out, watch out. And this box is also a tea and coffee box. So that's my food. Will someone come put this all back for me, please? We can do this. I'm not stop motioning this shit. Just so you know, that took like 38 minutes. I'm not doing that bullshit again. Hell no! I mean, I love y'all, but why do you like stop motion so much? I don't want to do it. Okay, this goes in here. There's a very specific way I have to put these back. Or else they don't fit. You have to slide it right in that little slot. You can't put it in on top, but it doesn't fit. It's like a nurturing mother's touch to get that back in there. Okay. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. That actually wasn't too bad. Okay. All right, in the middle here, we have all my toiletries. Makeup bag. Oops, this is actually another coffee box. We're good. This is my Kendall and Kylie box. This is my fake nail box. And this is all my toiletries. You get it. You know a toilet. I don't have to go through my toiletries. Like, do you, do you want to know? You don't. Do you? No, you don't. I didn't think you did. This is how I wipe my ass. The pits and the bits, like when I don't shower for a couple days. These are actually really, really good. You should try them out. They're like little deodorant wipes. Oh no, this is coming apart. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Probably from going like this every day. Okay, so just real quickly, we have nails and tampons. Nails and tampons. And then in here, I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, chapstick, face wipes, Q-tips flaw lashes razor refills you yeah, get the gist and then in here i pretty much just have tampons yeah that's pretty much it band-aids oh yeah a box of hair that goes in this drawer oh my christ i wonder why it's busting the seams if you guys saw my period video you know why i have so many tampons you get it you understand me now this is just the rogue tampon. Where do you want to go? This takes a sisterly tab to get that closed. All right, then in here, I have all my paper plates. Always have to have spits in the van. What else is in here? This is like a little fun treasure hunt for me. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Ooh, some more granola. That can go up here. I mean, spatula, a little thousand watt cooktop that I never use. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh yeah. We got some hot sauce. Love me some hot sauce. It never goes back in. And just like tap it in like Tinkerbell. Just like Tinkerbell. Just give it a little cute little tap. <laughs> Get that in there. In here we have um, this oatmeal that always wedges my drawer closed. I'm gonna eat that soon. We have some honey. I've been getting local honey in each state that I go to. This one was from Utah. This is where I keep all my plastic wear. <gasps> Um, and also a shit ton of sardines. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why did I bring these? Like, I think I was kind of afraid in a bind I was going to be like omega-3 fatty acid deficient. I don't know. Wild sardines. But actually, I have a really good recipe for this. It's a dip. You mix it with like pickles and celery and mayo and maybe a little dill in there. Oh my god, it is divine. I haven't really opened this drawer since being on the road. It's like Christmas in here. I don't know. I think what I did is I took everything that wasn't expired in my pantry, in my apartment, threw it in here, including the wild sardines. So if anybody is omega-3 fatty acid deficient, come see me. I got you. And then quickly, of course, I have Cholula. I have got a lighter, more honey, and a knife. I don't know. This is probably getting really boring. You don't care about the deep, dark secrets of my armoire. But you know what? Back behind this, ha! 
I do have cards against humanity and I'm currently at a family reunion so we're gonna bust those out. I'm very excited. And then finally in the bottom of my dresser I have my daily jeans, shorts, and then some fun animal print yoga leggings. I mean you get it. I have a lot of clothes. Under here I have a marble chopping block that I was planning on using a lot for cooking but I'm doing that no cook meal life right now. I've got my little hippie station here and originally I built this to put my toilet in it would slide out I would do my biz there but now it just holds my clothes in here and here I brought this ladder because I felt like it would look cute at night if I like put it up like that never done it not once um and it's too late to put it in storage so kind of nice though it hides this ugly little space back here I don't know I'm kind of tired of doing my van tour do you want to see more okay I'll quickly show you my wardrobe situation here like, oh, let's move the spit bottle okay let's lift these up these are just rugs from Target and then I have my clothes and, oh, and then we have our clothes. Um, I've organized everything really specifically in boxes. Easy to get to. Everything's folded super tidy so I know where everything is. I'm taking my OCD medication. Don't you dare worry. There are four of these. This one I'll just quickly show you. I've showed you in different videos so go watch my other videos if you want to see more of my bras and undies and such. I put my bras in a shoebox lid. Here are my colored dresses. My favorite pair of jeans. Super easy to get to. Some cover-ups you get the idea but these just slide in and out i have four of them actually really happy with this system it's a little more work than just having a regular dresser but it does the job and then here's my walkway up to the seats i got my fridge it fits perfectly right there in between the first two seats and i don't think you can van life without a banana hammock macrame obviously and then we have my front seat do we want to venture up to the front seat i don't know in my front seat I have my blackout curtains right here. And that, that I guess isn't that exciting, cool. All right, here goes nothing. So we need to talk. This is my front seat right now. This actually usually goes on top of my uh, couch area and then that goes under the piano when it's in bed mode. Yeah, this in here is my ever failing laundry system. So we've got clean clothes. We've got dirty clothes. We've got a clean towel. I don't even know what in God's name is under there, but this is where I store my water. I store a few gallons under there. I also have my hiking boots. Oh, I forgot about these. I have two pairs of sandals over here. Hell yeah. And then I just have a little broom. And then these are my venti Starbucks cups. If you do not know what I do with a venti Starbucks cup, consider yourself a lucky individual. And if you would like to know, subscribe and watch my other videos. I think that was pretty much it for the van tour. Like I said before, it's super cozy. I absolutely love it. It's my little home on wheels and so many adventures in this thing and so many yet to come. And that was a tour of my seven day van build. If you want to see the full series, that's linked down below. I also do daily videos. So if you want to follow me with my journey, I hope you will. If you made it this far in the video, I usually have you post a word down in the comments. But today I don't just want you to comment. I want you to share this video on either your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever you want. But if you made it this far in the video and you liked it please share it my goal is to get 50,000 views on this video so I need your help give it a thumbs up give it a comment and share it with your friends thank you so much for joining me in my adventures I really appreciate you and I'm having so much fun on this journey so thank you for joining me we'll see you tomorrow